So, Taryn, explain to us. What did we learn about loaf? The word for loaf is kakar. And it says that a loaf of bread is circular. Like a globe. Oh, no, spherical, actually. There's a loaf of bread right there. Looks like the world, doesn't it? So, what is the Lord saying in that? Unleavened globe. I think he's saying that a little leaven loves the whole lot. Right. So he's going to throw away the old lump and replace it with a new lump with no leaven. That's the new heaven and a new earth. Hallelujah. With no sin. Praise God. So we go from the circular loaf and with there. no leaven in it. So this is all about Exodus chapter 29. We're talking about the sanctifying of Aaron and his sons. And one of the instructions that God told Moses uh, was to take some bread and put it in the basket. Three types of bread. One bread was a uh, unleavened bread, which later in the chapter he says it's a loaf. So, and loaf means something like a loaf. So there you go. Just water and wheat, and they do a okay. well, And then the next bread is um, unleavened cakes, tempered and oil. And we're believing tempered and oil means like, you know, uh, fry something at the end. So, like, cake, fry it in oil. And then the last type of bread is flat wafers. Wafers are flat. It's flat. It's a flat bread. We did, yeah, we did not research the word deeply yet, but we believe it's just like crackers, like a cracker. And you pour oil on the top of it. So I'm not exactly sure what that means yet, but we'll get one out. Very soon. To be continued. Yes. 